The Down Syndrome Family Network is determined to bring about change in the way people with Down Syndrome are perceived and ultimately treated, so says Network founder Glenn Niles. Speaking at the UN World Down Syndrome Day conference, he said too many people are being denied their basic human right, the right to an education, simply because they were born different. He said it's time to try something different. We no longer want to take care of them and nurture them into a state of dependency. What we want to do is strengthen, educate, empower, and support them to independence. United Nations resident representative Richard Blewett made an impassioned plea for social inclusion. Social inclusion means reducing inequalities that exist and ensuring that every individual has an equal opportunity to access their basic human rights. On this day, we reiterate the need for equality for all individuals, including people affected by Down syndrome and other disabilities. We know that uh, many persons with disability here in Trinidad are subject to discrimination, um, and, ac and uh, persons living with Down syndrome still lack access to necessary support. Uh, and we need to change that, particularly in the healthcare system and in the education system. It's integral that we create a society that allows persons living with Down syndrome to have the same opportunity as other citizens. The wider community needs to become advocates for the issues uh, that affect those with Down syndrome. He said we must work to raise awareness about the way persons with disabilities are being excluded from society. He said the UNDP stands in solidarity with those affected by Down syndrome. Mr. Blewett urged those who attended the UN World Down Syndrome Day conference to make a personal commitment to break down barriers so we could build a stronger, more inclusive and equitable Trinidad and Tobago.